Skidooba doo bop, friend shop. Hey, thanks for checking out another Toolbox Tuesday with me, Garrick Backer here. And uh, this week I am showing off um, what the packaging called a, just an atomizer, um, but really it's a it's a human powered airbrush. Um, what this lovely little tool does is uh, it works on the same principle as many spray cans, perfume sprayers, or anything. It takes advantage of uh, the Venturi effect, which is when you pass air over the top of this tube as it's submerged in a fluid, it will cause the pressure to change, which will pull the fluid up and spray it out. Um, many of your more simple airbrushes work this way. Perfume sprayers work this way. And now, uh, with a little bit of lung power, uh, you can do this kind of work uh, without having to have a compressor or anything like that on hand. Now, the trick with these is that your paint needs to be almost water thin. Um, I'm using a little sample here of the Hansa Yellow from Golden. It's their high flow, uh, but uh, any acrylic inks or airbrush paint will work. Um, and it's as simple as sticking the uh, little piece down inside here or into whatever container you have and then you're ready to paint. Now the reason why you would want to use something like this is let's say you're stenciling or you want to lay down some color and you don't want to have any brush strokes and basically the same reason you'd use an airbrush. Um, but this will lay paint down evenly once you get the hang of it. There's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, it takes a little more air pressure than uh, I initially thought it was going to. I just picked this up today, actually, to mess around with. Um, and I've been really enjoying it. It's a fun little little piece to work with. And especially if you don't have an air compressor or an airbrush. Um, I wouldn't try to paint a whole costume with this thing, but small stencil work, detail work that you're going to mask off, that you're going to lay some color down with, uh, I think it definitely would do the job. Mine had a little bit of uh, flashing or just some rough spots in the metal uh, that I cleaned up with pliers and a file. I don't know if I just got kind of a rough one or if that's, you know, common in these tools. Uh, but once I got that off there, it worked just fine. Uh, anyways, hope you like this tool. Thanks for coming again this week. If you enjoyed this video, watch my other ones, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to see more work my wife and I do, you can always follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash no one's designs. Uh, you could follow us on Twitter at no one's designs or just check out our website, no one's designs.com. Anyways, thank you and we'll see you next week.